It's a 1954 Chevy three quarter ton 3600. So it's an old farm truck that used to haul produce and stuff in. And I've got a kicker 5150 in the back. Um, it's like an early 1990s pit bike. So it runs about 40, 45, um, but it's cool. I like the leaf spring in it. Under the hood, we got a 355 small block Chevy. Dart heads, and it is plumbed for nitrous, but I don't have it hooked up right now. All right, how long have you had her? I've had her about five years. Um, originally, she's from uh, out west, so she is a western truck, um, but it does have all original patina and she was originally black so a um, couple upgrades that i've done it i've done the steelies and the white walls um, got the bike running because it wasn't originally running um, but other than that it's pretty much how i got her all right are we hoping to do with her like down the road are you hoping to restore more or? no i am gonna leave her the way she is um i have had it pinstriped and stuff with my logo on it but the number one thing i want to do to it is put airbags on it because um, I would like it to lay the frame when it's parked and then have a nice ride height when I'm rolling. So um, airbags is probably the only thing I'm going to do. It's just a 36 Ford three window. I've had it nine years. Um, it's pretty rare just due to it's a three window. There was only approximately 1,400 made. Uh, it's all original steel. It's got a um, original frame under. It's Mustang two front end, uh, American racing wheels, smoothie tires, um, heat, air, cruise tilt, six-way electric seats. Uh, I know we're filming your reflection in the car. What kind of polish did you use to polish this up and to mirror for polish? It's Meguiar's polish and wax. Uh, I believe it's a Premier series. Okay, how, how, how long did it take you to get this polished up really nicely? It takes about three hours to polish it and wax it. All right, I can tell it's got red interior. You want to talk about the interior? Uh, the interior is Viper Red, uh, done by Portage Trim up in Michigan. Um, very nice job and nice people. What are your goals and hopes to do with this car in the future? Uh, keep it and drive it. It's only got 11,000 miles on it and we uh, take it to a lot of different shows and we have a lot of fun with it. My van's a 77 Dodge. When I got it, it was green and rusted out. I did all the body work, all the paint, did everything to it. And a fr female friend of mine out at Ruthless Customs, Shannon, did the mural work. Took me a year to do the exterior and the interior. And then she put 153 hours on doing all the mural work. It's all freehand and there's four coats of clear on the van. Uh, how many years have you had the van? I've had it for about three years. I've showed it for two. It was rusted out. It was sitting in Kentucky in the weeds. I had to make a lot of the bottom panels myself, cut them out, weld new ones in, and a whole lot of body work. I put the, I made the scoops in the grill, made that. When I had my visor made, I put slots in it so I could see the lights when I pull up the traffic lights. I don't have to bend way over to look up to see them. Yeah, I made the grills myself and the side pipe covers to match the grills. They're twisted also. I had to ship them to California to be chrome plated. The interior I did in blue fur and black vinyl and black shag carpeting. I made the front seats out of bourbon barrels. They turn all the way around and it's got a cabinet with a sink that works. It's got a refrigerator that works. And in the bed, I made a heart-shaped divider. And it's memory foam, blue fur, and I got a mirror above the bed. All right, what are you planning for the vehicle in the future? 
I want to take it's got the stock motor it's a stock 318 two barrel I want to take that out and put a 5.7 Hemi in it and rewire it all.